Hey, what's up, Mewaters? Welcome back. So, look, I know by now most of you guys are gourmet chefs, or at least on your way. Um, but today, I wanted to share with you a really easy recipe for beef jerky. Um, it's it's simple. It's going to save you cash in the long run, and and it's incredibly delicious and a great protein rich snack for you to to have on the go. Um, or just stocked in your pantry. So here, check it out. There's there's two basic components to beef jerky. First, beef, and then second, your marinade. So we'll start with the beef. Here I've got um, a few pounds of grass-fed beef, and these are lean cuts. In this case, I'm using a London broil, uh, which is a, a cut from the shoulder. So what I want to do is first, um, so that we can we can cut this up into thin strips a bit easier, we're going to put this into the freezer um, for an hour to an hour and a half to, to firm it up and um, make it more easy to work with. So once we've got the beef out of the freezer and, and cut up into strips and put into our cup, Tupperware container, we, we want to mix together the following ingredients for the marinade. Okay, first we're going to mix together two-thirds of a cup of tamari sauce or, or old-fashioned soy sauce, which doesn't have any gluten in it. Um, just make sure that that's the case and it doesn't have gluten. So read the ingredients. Then we're going to want to add a third a cup of hot water, um, a fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. And now when you're buying the sauce, make sure, again, that you get the good kind. The Lee and Perrins is the best because it doesn't have any gluten or anything in it. So just make sure you're checking the ingredients. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of the following. First, liquid smoke. Again, read the ingredients to make sure that there's no weird stuff or nitrates or nitrites um, on the back of these. Uh, then we're going to add in a tablespoon of garlic powder, onion powder, um, a half tablespoon of cayenne pepper or, or some kind of spicy pepper or sauce. In my case, I'm using sriracha. Um, and then we'll use the red pepper flakes uh, for, for later after we marinate it and put it in the oven. So basically, we're going to want to take all those ingredients and our beef and put it into our Tupperware container, shake it up, mix it real good, and put it in the refrigerator. We want to let it marinate for at least six hours, preferably overnight. Um, but once you've got it marinated, then we're going to go put it in the oven.